What's good, second channel? We're out here today. I figured, well, I got some rabbits. I didn't even kill them, but I, on the, I'll, I'll probably claim that I did if anyone asked me. But my cousin killed these. I'm going to try to show you how to skin a rabbit. They're super easy. And I have a KG pocket knife here. We'll pull it out there. Just got done literally chopping a tree in half with the help of a hammer. The cool thing is that that's just for show because you don't need it because you just rip them apart with your like arms. You really don't even have to be that strong at all. Their skin's really thin. This one's really bloody, but you just get it and pull. But if you feel like you can't do that and pull, get a knife, slit the back, then rip it open like that. Now you can do the full body skin where you like take the front legs and the back straps and everything. But what I'm gonna do for this rabbit is I'm actually just gonna cut it right here and get the two back legs since that's where like 90% of the meat is. On the front legs of a rabbit, there's really not much at all. On the shoulders, I guess there's a little bit. The back straps are pretty good, but literally all their meat's in the legs. So this is the one time I will use my knife. I'll just come in here and kind of cut these legs off because, well, that one's shredded. But there is like a lot of meat. Like this, these rabbit legs are as big as chicken legs and that's a lot of meat. And a dollar, like over a dollar a piece if you're going to KFC, it's expensive. <laughs> Boom, KFC right there, but it's not, it's a rabbit. Then for the legs, you probably don't want to eat the feet. Some people like to stick a rabbit foot in their pocket. If you want to be one of those people, go ahead. I don't know. But in order to do that, you really just come in here and break it like a pencil. This is a gruesome video. Yeah. But there's your rabbit foot and there's your rabbit meat. Stick it in the coffee bucket and you're good to go. One more time, we'll go ahead and do this one. Pulling his pants off. What do you think about it, Avery? How do you feel? How do I feel? Yeah. It smells bad. Rabbits are really easy to skin. I'll say that. They're like literally the easiest thing to skin. Squirrels are kind of tough, but not really. But rabbits, you don't even need a knife. You just tear them and they work really nice. And then just come in here, cut their legs off. And then, like I was saying, you can do the full body skin. But for this one, we're just going to do the back legs because that's where 90% of their meat is. And if you have a lot of rabbits, this is super quick to do too. It like doesn't take long to do their legs. Their full body would probably take a little bit longer since you do gotta gut them and do all the head and cut the head off. But besides that, it's really like simple to just skin them out. Rabbits are my favorite to skin. They're really easy. And then at a certain point, you can just probably start twisting the leg and it comes off itself. Anyways, that's how you skin a rabbit. You just Rip its back and cut the legs off or cut off whatever you want. It's really simple, guys. Like, it's not that complicated. I'll just see you later.